Here's a review of the Ultimate Collector Series Razor Crest, which will retail for $600 on October 3rd. This set was sent to me by the LEGO Ambassador Network to review, which I am very thankful for. We get four minifigures, including Din Djarin, Grogu, Quill, and the Mithril. That's the name of his species, we don't know his name yet. As a UCS set, the Razor Crest is very big, almost as big as the Republic gunship. It relies on a lot of small pieces to give it a lot of detail, as well as a lot of stickers. Here's the display panel which can hold all the minifigures. The most exclusive minifigure in this set is Din Djarin, of course, and he has his printed head underneath. Grogu has a hover pod, and Quill has a brick-built blurg. It has printed eyes, but it has limited motion, but it is possible for minifigures to ride on them. As I stated earlier, this is a very detailed set, and really, it's meant for display. The landing gear looks good, but it cannot retract inside. You can open up these doors on both sides, along with the ramp. We get the escape pod again, which can hold one minifigure inside. You can even open this up, which reveals the interior of the cockpit. There are so many controls, and three seats. The door can open up, which reveals an area for Grogu. I believe those are meant to be the eggs, as seen in the passenger episode. There's even a spot to hold weapons. What's also great is that you can remove this layer, which reveals the front of the interior. You can see the ladder going up, and there's even a bed, which you can remove. Also, there's the spot where Grogu gets electrocuted. You can access the interior by removing the top panels, which I help by jumper plates. We get a carbonite freezing chamber, which can hold one minifigure inside. We get two more frozen characters, but also have stickers on them, which is disappointing. On this side, we have a closet full of weapons and Boba Fett's armor. There are also three containers, one holding binoculars and two holding thermal detonators. There is even food for Grogu. Along with that, there's even a sign with Grogu's head, and in Arabesh, it says Child on Board, which I think is really good. I think the Razor Crest is a great ship to be recreated into a UCS set. I definitely see this being a popular set for adult fans of LEGO, as well as for older fans of LEGO Star Wars. I have no doubt people are going to get this for the Din Djarin minifigure, but I feel underwhelmed by the other minifigures. Grogu's the same, and the Mithril should have had a molded head, and even though Quill is a detailed minifigure, his head is oversized. I have spoken, and I think the windshield piece for the cockpit should have been one piece, because it looks weird this way. Despite that, it's a great display piece, and I give this a 9 out of 10. But let me know what you think about this set.